So in this video, I'm going to install portable apps in a USB drive. So what is portable apps? And if you go to the website here, portableapps.com, you can check their website out. You can read more about the apps development. So it gives you an explanation here. Portable apps is a bunch of software apps. And these software apps are free and open source that you can install in a USB drive, you can install it in your local computer, you can install it in the cloud, for example, Dropbox or Google Drive. So you can take this portable USB drive and use it in another computer and access all the different apps. So I'm going to download the software, I'll click on download, and you can download directly from portableapps.com or you can download from SourceForge. I'm going to click SourceForge and it's downloaded. So it's just an exe file. So this is the Portable Apps CXE file. So I'm using a USB drive that is 16 gigabytes of size. So I'll double click on the EXE file. I'll click OK. So I'm going to click Next. So you want to agree to the license agreement. I'll click I agree. So it asks you what type of installation would you like. New install. And if you select new install, you can install it in your local computer, cloud drive, or a portable device, for example, the USB drive. And this selection is upgrade existing install. And this is select a custom install. So if I select a custom location, I'm going to click next. I can browse and choose a folder in my local computer. So I'm going to select new install. Click next. This is the install location. So to install it in a USB drive, you want to select the first option, portable, install to a portable device. This is cloud selection. You can install it in your OneDrive, Dropbox, Google Drive. So this is for local computer. If you want to install it for the current user, that is logged on to the computer. And this is if you want to install it for all users. And this is custom location. I'm going to select portable because I'm going to install it in the USB drive. Click next. So it already detected the USB drive. I'll click next. I'll click install. So, okay, I'm going to uncheck this box. I'm going to click finish. So it should be installed in my USB drive. So this is the USB drive. You want to open the USB drive. You better see documents, portable app, and start.exe file. I'll double click on documents. These are some folders. So I'm going to click on start.exe. So you're going to get this menu. I'll close this. Now this is all running from the USB drive. So these are folders, documents, music, pictures, videos, explore, backup, apps. So there's also options. So I'm going to click on apps. And I'm going to select get more apps and there's by category, by title, new releases, recently updated. I'll click by categories. So this is the portable app directory and these are lists of portable apps and they are listed by categories. For example, accessibility, you have all of these. This is development. This is education. This is games. This is graphics and pictures. This is internet. So there's Chrome, there's Firefox. There's some FTP clients here, FileZilla. There's Buddy. There's VLC Media Player. So this is free office software. So this is Office and there's Apache Open Office. There's LibreOffice. So this is security and these are some security tools. This is utilities. So you can choose any one of these apps. So I'm going to choose one of these. I'm going to choose Wise Program Uninstaller. I'll check the box here. Click Next. So it's downloading. I click I agree. Now this is installing in the USB drive only, not on the computer. I click finish. So this is the icon here and the category is utilities. I'll click on that and this is the program. So it already scanned my computer of all the programs and apps I have installed and I can uninstall them. For example, Photoshop and click uninstall. So I'll click on options here. 
So in the options menu, I have of data, there's general. This is the app store and I can configure the settings here. This is organization. You can list the apps here. You can choose how you want to list the apps. This is advanced. So under advanced, you have all these options here. First, so for example, there's hide desktop icons. I'll check that box, click OK. And all the icons are hidden on the desktop. So I'll click back on options, select advanced, uncheck hide desktop icons, click OK. I'll click on options again. So this is Teams. So the example, this is the default color. I can change that. I'll click OK, and this is how it shows. So the software apps are only installed in the USB drive. So I remove the USB drive and I insert it back the USB drive. I'm going to open back the USB drive. I'll click start.dxe. So the utilities folder is still there, and this is the app that I installed. It's in the USB drive. So whatever app that you install, it will show up here by categories. So you can take this USB drive with you, and you can go to another computer, and you can use whatever app that you would like. Also on the website, if you click on apps, you can scroll down, and then you can see a list of the apps. And these are listed by categories. So I'm going to double click on the portable apps exe file again. I'll click OK, click Next, click I Agree, click on New Install. So if I want to install it in the cloud, for example, Google Drive or OneDrive, I just have to select Cloud, click Next. So this is the cloud installation. Right now, I don't have Dropbox installed. It's not detecting my Google Drive. I don't have Box but it's detecting my Microsoft OneDrive. So I can install this portable apps in the cloud drive. So this portable app tool can come in handy. So I hope this video was helpful to you. I thank you for watching and I thank you for subscribing.